Good day class. In this video, I will demonstrate and explain on how will we attach drawings from other files towards our current file. But before we attach any drawings towards this file, we should first adjust the unit of measurements. This can be done by using the unit command. The shortcut for unit is UN or in phonetic alphabet, uniform November. So let's type UN and press spacebar to make the drawing units dialog box appear. The units must be adjusted so into the same units used in the drawings that we will attach towards our current file. Once everything is done, click OK to close the dialog box. There are two ways of attaching drawings. Number one is the use of the insert command. The shortcut for insert is I, or in phonetic alphabet, India. So let's type I and press spacebar to make the insert dialog box appear. On the right side of the name box or the name bar, we can find the browse button, in which when we click this button, the standard file location dialog box will appear where we, we should locate the dialog box or where we should locate the file rather. When we, when we choose the file, we are prompted or we have, the, we have an option of rescaling our drawings or specifying the insertion points on screen. If the insertion point box is unchecked or deselected, and the values are zero. Once we attach our drawings, it will be positioned the same way as how we positioned our drawings in, in the original file. So everything is set, we can click OK and the file will be inserted in our current file. If the attached drawings is too large, we can use the zoom extent commands. So to use the zoom extent, we'll use the zoom command. The shortcut for zoom is Z or in phonetic alphabet Zulu. Let's type Z and press the space bar and we'll choose the extent sub option by typing E and pressing space bar. We can now see the drawing as a whole. The drawings attached using the file, the insert command, is automatically converted into a block, which means it can be edited using the block editor command. And in order to edit them, we will double click the object and we will be led into our block reference editor where we can edit any contents in our drawings. Once we're done, to exit the block editor, we'll just click the check, check symbol on the upper, on the right side of the ribbon and choose to sh save the changes. Take note that we cannot attach the same drawing using the external references command if we already attached that particular drawing using the insert command. So let's try, I'll try to demonstrate the external references in another file. So again, before you attach any drawings, always adjust your units into the same units used in your drawings that you will attach. To use the external references command, the shortcut is XR, or in phonetic alphabet, X-ray Romeo. So let's type XR and press spacebar to make the external references palette appear. To attach our drawings using the external references command, 
click on the dra attached drawing icon found on the upper left portion of the palette. Clicking this will open the standard file location dialog box where we can we should locate the file that we wish to insert or attach. Once selected, a new dialog box will appear where we have an option which is almost the same as the insert command. Or we have the option to rescale our drawing or to specify the insertion point. As I mentioned earlier, if the specify on screen under the insertion point box or group is left the selected and the values of the coordinates are zero, it will be attached the same position as the original file. If everything is set, click OK. You will notice that the drawing will be added on the list inside the external references palette and at the same time the drawings will be attached in our working space. So let us use again the zoom extend command. Type Z, and enter the command and then choose extend. The difference between attaching drawings using the insert and external references is that insert the drawings inserted using the insert command are explodable while drawings inserted or attached using the external references command cannot be exploded in which in order to edit this file or in order to edit the drawings using the external references we should open the file or rather the original file first and saving the changes external references is very useful since it saves time from duplicating drawings and managing the properties of the baseline which will be later be demonstrated to you this is ideal also for teamwork so in order to edit the external references file we should go to the external reference palette and right click on the drawings in the list and choose to open the file we will now be directed to the original file if we change anything or adjust anything in the original file we should we should always save the changes if we prefer those changes made. Once changes are made, there will be a notification on the file where the drawing is attached. And also, an exclamation point icon will appear on the right side of the name, which means the draw, uh, changes are made in that particular drawing. To apply the changes, right click on the drawing or the name of the drawing and choose to reload you will now notice on your working space that the changes are now applied this is also useful when you attach drawings when you attach the same drawings in multiple files you are using the external references when you attach drawings using the external references, you only need to edit the drawing once and just reload the rest of the drawings, unlike inserting the base plans using the insert command, where you need to adjust the drawings individually within each file. On the next discussion, I will demonstrate the applications of external references to other architectural and working drawings.